You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 15, Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Out in the van again. Late. Paying at the new house all day. Fucking everyone's home, can't record inside. But one of these days, I promise you, I am going to have a normal place where this can be done. But until then, the van is not so bad. It's like 40 degrees out. It's not terrible out. Um, So this is the story that I have uh, been on the fence about sharing. And partially because... I don't know who knows who or what where this could get back to or what I'm still what could be liable for. Or I, but, you know, I figure it's been fucking 20 years. What what could it be now, you know? Uh, I've been sued. I'll, I've uh, People are dead now, you know? It's like... So, I've told people versions of this story over the years because, because I was embarrassed, because I... Um, I told the story as it was and what happened in my charges and things like that. But a detail that got left out, and some people know the detail that I left out, and other people don't know the detail that I left out, kind of changes the dynamic of things. And I did it because I was ashamed and embarrassed, and um, I felt like I had to, like people, I wanted them to be, on my side for this when I would explain this story to people um when really uh, the most people well, once I get to a certain point they're like oh yeah uh, I would have done the same thing maybe not exactly the same thing but what what led up to that um so uh my my best friend died uh it'll be 20 years this year in May he died um which is a whole nother story uh, and I was crushed. This was the first person that I ever lost, aside from like my great grandmother when I was like eleven. You know, um, this is this was the first friend of mine that I lost abruptly, and um, I was fucking. He was my best friend. Was, I was heartbroken. I still am heartbroken, and I I, I believe his his death. Um, I don't want to say, I don't want to blame it on my addiction issues and things like that, but I do believe that instead of dealing with the grief and, you know, going through the grieving process, um, I just use drugs and alcohol to do that. And uh, I cried, but I, I don't know, and I still don't know if I've ever truly grieved. Um, I've... I, I miss him all the time. My son's named after him. First and middle, double middle name. All the, you know, the first three parts. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, so he died. And uh, his brother, who was a very good friend of mine, uh, he and some other people said, we should do like a remembrance party. He didn't ask me. He said, yo, you're invited. <laughs> because I didn't really know. I knew Jake, which was which was AJ's brother, I knew him, uh, but but we didn't know each other like how AJ and I did. You know, I was AJ's friend, and, and I was Jake's friend too, but I, like, I spent my time with AJ. Anyway, um, he's like, you know, you, you should come to this party. It'll be cool, you know. I'm like, all right, that sounds good. So I get a ride to an apartment complex and go to Ed's house, to Ed from... Uh, the last episode, I think, where Ed knew everything. So I went to his house. And then we left from there and went to, like, a beer place. And somebody bought some keg, a keg, I think, or a half barrel. I don't know what it was. And we go to this party, and it's in the fucking middle of the woods. But it's daytime. So we, like, drive off of a parking lot through these fucking woods out into the middle of nowhere. And, um... Uh, and it opens up into this clearing, and um, there's a bonfire in the middle. I don't even think it was going when I got there. There were like five people there when I got there, if that. So I get there, 
and I sit down and I'm like, all right, I, I got my little spot in my little chair. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be where I'm at. And I start fucking pounding draft beer. Um, and I, I, well, shortly after this, it was actually shortly after, uh, this dude shows up and everyone's like, yo, he, this guy right here, he raps too. Y'all should have a battle. And the dude's like, nah, yo, I only, I only rap after I have some drinks. Maybe later, maybe later. And I was like, so I was in my mind, I was so cocky and fucking whatever that I stood up and started rapping. I was like, I wanted to kick it off right there. Da, 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 da. I started saying all kinds of crazy shit. And the, the six fucking people that were there were like, well, this dude can spit. I, I think, I don't know. They were looking like, damn, son, like, all right. Um, <laughs> so, so the dude, obviously, he knew that I was a fucking problem. He was definitely not ready. So he's like, yeah, 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 later, we'll, we'll kick something off. Okay, whatever. So the night goes on. I get fucking sloshed. I'm fucking smoking, drinking. At some point, someone hand me a bootleg bottle of 151, like some off-brand shit. And he's like, yo, it's 151. And I was like, give me that. Yeah. I was fucking lit. I threw up at some point, like walked off into the woods, threw up, came back feeling fucking great, ready to go. And, uh. Cause I wasn't like a fucking full blown alcoholic at this point. This was like right before that started. And, uh, so I was shitted up, man. Um, so it's now it's dark. Hours have passed. I'm shitty. And next thing you know, yo, where's the other dude that raps? Well, at this point now, this fucking thing is taken off from this small get together. There's like 150 people there. The fire is, I felt like it was 50 feet in the air. It probably wasn't, but it, it felt like it was. And there's 150 people there. And now it was like, I was 16 and everyone, like a good majority of the people were about my age. But then it turned into like a whole college party because it's a college town that this was in. And there's people in their 20s, mid 20s, fucking, there was all kinds of people there. They're bringing in kegs on four wheelers and shit. It was fucking, it, it was a good ass party though. <laughs> I mean, I, I fucking ruined it, but it was a good one though. Um, so they're like, yo, where's that other dude that raps? Oh, that's Kyle. So, okay, oh, well, it's time for the battle. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about this. We supposed to like rap. And this dude was, you know, he had his couple drinks and he started like saying some shit. He was da 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 da. And I'm all fucked up now. Now I didn't have those same bars, but but I did though. So I ended up killing them, right? And it, and and I, at first, the f- earlier in the day when it was daytime, I was just spitting some written shit, and not really like battle bars. But you kind of the rap people that rap or people who have rapped for twenty fucking years know. If you want to bullshit and make it seem like you're freestyling, you like spit something that you wrote and you kind of like fuck it up a little bit or you kind of stutter or you do like a long drawn out like you're thinking of something. But really, I wasn't. But anyway, but now I'm shitty and now I got a battle. Oh, shit. Here we go. I remember. I, I can still actually remember two fucking lines from this whole thing. And he was he was on that riggedy tat, tat rag a tat dee 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 dat dat bullshit. Like it was like super Dr. Seuss ish. Um, you know, fucking it was it was some simple ass shit. And I remember I said something like and this is fucked up kinda with the events after, but I said I was like, You better stay far away Far away from my direction, or I have you cut open something like frog dissection, and they're like, "Oh shit!" And then, and he said something about, "Oh, them them Tims look like they two sizes too big," because they they actually were, but he didn't know that. But they were, cause I borrowed them shits uh, from Polly. Anyway, um, so maybe he did know that. I don't, but it was dark. I don't know how he could have fucking known. Maybe he seen it earlier and was like, "Yo, them shits is way too big for this dude." And, uh, and I said, I said, say something about my Tim's, my man, look who's talking. Them kicks so old, they look like the ones that Jesus walked in. Bam, this fucking place goes crazy. And 8 Mile was real big at this time. Like, it was like, you know, the 8 Mile fucking, 
Eminem battle rap Eminem fucking it was like rap was like cool and big and not a lot of people did it when it was like still cool to tell people that you rap now you tell someone that you rap and they're like the fuck out of here get a job bitch so even if I did still rap I definitely wouldn't be telling nobody that no more (laughs) um but uh that 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 Jesus walked in line this fucking place there was a whole circle and all that shit it went fucking nuts it was a rap I think that was it that was the last line I said it was a fucking rap and uh let me adjust my fucking leg here so so then people were coming up to me like I actually felt like the man people were slapping me up yo that shit was crazy oh da 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 I seen you at the funeral da 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 oh yeah 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 you were up you were carrying a casket yeah yeah, yeah. all right so now I'm like the man I remember I came up at one point and there were people were sitting on pallets and shit cuz my little chair was like gone I was like yo I could sit there and they're like and and the dude looked at me mad crazy, like, who the fuck? And he goes, oh, you were the one that spit that? Yeah, 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 sit down here, take my seat. And he was about to tell me, fuck off. So I felt like I had a big-ass head at that point. I already had a big-ass head at that point. I still got a big-ass head, like, physically, too. But uh, I was like, I'm the fucking man, son. So it, so people kept fighting throughout this thing, too. and And that was, like, bothering me. And... You know, I've fought many times growing up. I will fight now, but I it was not the right fucking time for that. But the party was so out of control that it wasn't even a remembrance party anymore. It was just a fucking free-for-all. So I started, like, saying shit like, yo, fucking next people that fight, man, fucking they got to get the fuck out of here, you know, da 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 so then something else goes off and another dude was like, yeah, I agree with you, yo. We should fuck them next people that start this bullshit. Get them the fuck out of here. So something's going on that me and that dude, I don't even know who the fuck it was. But he's like, yo, I got you. He's like, who was it? Who was this? Who was just fighting? And I was like, and I remember like looking and I'm like, shit, he's, and I, I just saw, I could see was this white t-shirt in this crowd and I fucking pointed and I was like, it was him. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't him he i mean not that i ever found out and i found out a lot of details about this in the discovery and private investigator fucking bullshit but i don't think it wasn't him but i i was wrong and uh and he knew it because this dude started going crazy and i, I he was probably like 20 feet away and he's like yelling fucking da da fuck you and I'm like, yo, you fucking chill, bitch. <laughs> you know, who the fuck you think you're talking to? I thought I was a man. I'm fucking, I'm like the same height. I'm like 5'5". Five, five. You know, I'm I'm a 16-year-old kid. and now, So now this dude that seemed like a lot bigger than me, like a fucking approaches me right in my face now. He's like 20 feet away. He's like up there, bam. Now he's fucking yelling, fuck you, I'll fuck you, I'll fucking rip your head off, blah, 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 blah. Now he's real loud. Now all these people start noticing. Like they're now they're like, oh shit, it's about to be another fight. So all these people start like circling around, and I'm like, fuck. And I said, yo, man, you know now 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 the fucking the Otis Street kicks in. I'm like, yo, son, you better back the fuck off me. You know, like I'm not from around here type shit. And he said, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking spits right in my face. And I remember going motherfucker and I remember wiping it off I wiped it down with my right hand wiped it off and I said yo now now the people are fucking ever I can feel there's just people everywhere watching this happen people are like laughing and shit I feel it might not have been but I felt like I was they were embarrassing me or this dude was embarrassing me so I said yo man I swear to fucking god dude if you fucking spit in my face it, He spit in my face again. And I said, motherfucker, I wiped off my face. I said, you fucking cocksucker. This time I fucking reached in my back pocket and I had a fucking utility knife. Not a box cutter like like we sell, you know, like a fucking, like one that Walmart, a Walmart employee would have, like the fucking plastic handle with the spare blades in it and shit. And I pulled it out and I held it to the side of his face, like right by his ear. And I 
clicked it out. And I I said, if you fucking, and I opened my mouth to say, if you fucking spit in my face again, and he just went, spit directly in my fucking mouth. And all I remember is I could taste fucking whatever he was drinking. I could taste it. And I just fucking swiped down across his face. Bam, I hit him right in the fucking side of the face. And I just remember he grabbed his face with both hands and he fucking shot his head back. And no, nobody knew what, what happened. Everyone thought I fucking bitch slapped this dude. And I remember like thinking, yeah, whatever. Bam, I get fucking nailed by somebody else. Bam, bam. Then it starts going down. I'm getting hit fucking left, right. Bow, bow, bow. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, you know, good decision making 16 year old just starts fucking swinging his fucking box cutter, utility knife, or fucking razor. I'm fucking just swinging it around. Now people are like backing up. Then I get grabbed. Someone lifts me up, fucking slams me down. And I remember hearing somebody say, I fucking smoked the ball with you, dog. And I, and then kicked me in my face, and now I'm getting just stomped, like, f- from all over the place, I got lifted up, you know, the regular, like you've seen in a million videos, I got lifted up, and it's fucking power bombed, and people are stomping me, and kicking me in my shit, and I, I dropped the fucking utility knife, but then I, I was, I covered up, I put my elbows on the sides of my head, because I've always, I was always worried about getting my teeth knocked out. So I was like, whatever happens to the rest of me, I was like, I can't get my fucking teeth knocked out. So I put my elbows in front of my, like on the either side of my mouth and I kind of tucked my head in. And then as I was doing that, I looked and I was right on top of this utility knife. So I fucking grabbed it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get up. I got up and then there was a dude. He like reached forward and he fucking grabbed me by the shirt and started pulling up like pulling me up to him and he fucking punched me and then someone grabbed him from behind and it was just I mean it was, I'll tell you why it was good timing but bad timing also I fucking lit him up too bam right across the fucking he backed up I fucking now I took this as my opportunity there was like no one else hitting me right then so I got up and I fucking ran and I remember I got to like, I was running to where I thought, now the place is in fucking chaos. There's people screaming, there's fucking blood. Like, people are all bloody and shit. I ran to like what it looked like was an opening in the, the woods, like to out of there. And I, I felt one of my, sh- one of those boots, one of my shoes, one of my boots was gone. And, and I, I heard, Kyle, 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 and fucking, I see it's Jake, he's running up to me, and I said, yo, and he's going, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here, and I said, yo, I go, you gotta find my other boot, I go, it's, they're Polly's, and he goes, and he fucking, he says, you need to get the fuck out of here now, so I started going, and I fucking took about four steps, and I tripped or slipped or something, bam, went down again, someone started fucking came up, boot me, kick me, oh, you like to fucking use knives, huh, bam, bam, I dropped the fucking thing again, and this time I couldn't find it, I don't know if somebody stopped them, or if they stopped, or what, and then I bounced into the woods, and I remember I ran as best I could, as far as I could, which probably wasn't even that far, and I felt like I was gonna throw up, so I, I, like, kind of, kind of could see, like, there was all this real dense, whatever and I like started to like burrow myself into it and it was like cutting me I could feel that it was like some kind of prickery something and I was like all right all right I'm gonna crawl as deep as I can into here I said and uh and I'm gonna sit for a minute I said because if fucking if it's this difficult to get in here it's gonna be difficult for them to get in here so I fucking crawled in and then I ended up throwing up on myself all over the place and then I fucking, I, I closed my eyes and I was like, what the fuck? And I don't know if I fell asleep or if I was just like drained. And I remember like opening my eyes going, oh shit, how long has it been? The sun's not up. It hasn't been that long. 
I could still hear screaming, people fucking yelling and talking. So I get back up, and I start walking again. And uh, I, I, I can hear people like over to my left after I walk, I don't know, for a couple minutes. And I'm like, yo. And they're like, e- yo. And they're saying, ah, fuck that dude. Just let him go. Like they, no one even knew who now where all these people are just scattered everywhere in the woods. And, uh, and I, I was scared, man. I, uh, now I don't know where I am. I'm in the woods. I'm all fucked up. I got one shoe on. Nothing is in my pockets. Everything that was in my pockets is gone. So when you fucking, when I got slammed, all the shit, my rat book, everything fell out of my fucking pockets. Now I don't have anything. I don't have my five (laughs) dollars. But what I did have, which was weird, is AJ had, uh, he gave me some sunglasses before he died. And I, I had those around my necklace that Pauly gave me to wear to the funeral, which I wear every day. And go back and look at pictures. I got it on. I always got it on. <laughs> um, but I used to wear my necklace on the outside like a fucking asshole. Uh, and uh, I had the sunglasses around the necklace because it was dark. And all that beaten, bloody, stomped, fucking booted to all the shit. Glasses never broke. Necklace never got ripped off. Totally fucking weird. Anyway, so these guys are saying something. Yo, da, 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 and I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Well, I'm cracking my knuckles. Sorry if, if you can hear that. What's that called? ASMR? <laughs> um, so they're like, and I said, uh. Yeah, how you guys doing? Something, something. And they're like, ah, fuck that dude, whatever, man. And I said, yo, can you guys tell me how to get out of here? And they, like, started approaching me. And they're like, yo, what's your name? And I'm like, Wilson. They're like, Wilson? He's like, you're Kyle. And and I got scared. I was like, oh, no. He goes, it's me. It's Scott. You remember the one with the titty cup? And there was a dude pouring liquor in this, like, ceramic titty cup and like pouring shots for people and I go oh shit I remember he was a I guess what you could say he was one of the good guys I ended up knowing him later on in life but uh well not later on in life but from then on and I go oh shit I remember you and he's like I'll we'll get you out of here you know I'll, I'll, I'll show you how so so we all so we all fucking started started going together walking through wherever then we come out into the back of this parking lot of what looked like apartments, but I wasn't really sure. And there's all kinds of people fucking standing around this car. And and I didn't really know how crazy I looked. Everyone else looked normal. Like, I remember looking at everybody, and they were all normal. But they were looking at me crazy, and I'm like, I know, I'm all fucking, fi- I'm all dirty and shit. I'm mad dirty, I know that. And uh, I'm like... I got jumped, I got jumped in the woods, I need to get to the fucking apartments, you know, da 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 da. do you guys know where these apartments are, like, yeah, they're they're down the way a little bit, I'm calling people, calling my, calling my friends, and, uh, I'm like, yo, I need you guys to come get me, and they're like, they, they didn't come get me, no one came and got me, not then, not then anyway, no one I called, and, uh, so one of these dudes, these random dudes is like, I'll bring you there. And, he, and, and we got in the car and I'm, I'm still scared at this point because I don't really know anybody. And now I definitely don't know these people I'm getting in this car with. But I'm hoping that they're buying my Wilson Bosley story. That's what I used to say. My fake name was Will Boz. Will Wilson Bosley. Anyway. Uh, and I said, these guys jumped me. They said I was somebody with a knife, but I wasn't. I was like, they just started beating me up. I'm not even from here, da 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 da. So they bring me over, they drive me to to the apartments, but I didn't want them to know where I was going. So I said, I gotta find the apartment, just drop me off at the entrance. He's like, all right. And so I was, it was in the back of a, a four door Honda. And I remember I opened the door and I said, uh, I, I wanted to, I, I said, can I sit in the back? You know, so I was like, I don't, I just want to sit in the back because I felt like I didn't want to sit in the front with these dudes behind me. So I got out 
and right as I was walking out, the one dude driving, he like leaned over and looked out of the back passenger door and he's like, don't let me find out that that was you, son, or something like that. And I was like, you won't. So I started walking. And now I'm trying to remember exactly how to get to Ed's apartment. Because I'm a little fucking disheveled at this point. I'm walking, I'm walking, and all I hear is, Kyle. And I'm like, fuck. I look, and there's someone coming. And I, I don't even know why I did it. I like, I took off the other boot. I just took it off and I was like, I'm just going to hit whoever this is with this boot. And we're just going to go. It's like, I ain't got no more fight in me, man. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I can't do it. And then I look and he's getting closer and it's Jake. He goes, what the fuck happened? I go, I don't fucking know. I'm so sorry. I ruined your brother's fucking party. I'm so fucking. He's like, we got to get you in the heads. Let's go. So we start walking and he goes, and we're, we're talking and he goes, oh shit the cops and I was like what and I turned and looked and here comes a sheriff pulling up and then I look back and he's gone he's fucking gone I never see and and that I didn't see him again the rest of the whole night (laughs) he's gone I looked over the cops pulled right up I could have reached out and touched the fucking driver's side of the car they just drove right I got I got no fucking I'm carrying a single shoe and they just looked at me I looked right at him and they just continued on and I just continued on, got up to Ed's, buzzed myself. He's like, yo, come eh, buzz me in. I came up. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck did you do? I tried to help you. What the fuck are you doing? I said, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I said, I think I'm going to jail. He's like, oh, you're definitely going to jail. And I was like, fuck. He's like, go clean yourself up, man. And I'm like, I go, dude, I don't want to take a shower right now. I don't fucking care about this mud. He's like, nah. He's like, go clean yourself up. So I go in his bathroom and I look, I'm looking in the mirror. And my whole face is just covered in fucking blood. And I'm like, oh no. I must be fucked up. And I'm feeling all around in my head and my face. And I'm like, it hurts. But I'm like looking. I'm like, I'm not cut. And that's when it all started to make sense. Like, this is not even my blood that's all over me. Like, it looked like a fucking horror movie. There was so much blood on my face. And and then I'm looking closer where I thought my hands were dirty. I had blood everywhere. There was blood all over my, like, my black shirt looked like it was, like, shiny. Because it was just so saturated and all this blood. It was blood all over my hands. It was fucked up. So I, I, I washed my face off, washed my hands. I called my mom. She's like, I said, I, this is what's going on. Da, 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 da. And she's like, all right. You know, it's like four o'clock in the fucking morning at this point. I told her everything that was going on. And um, I, she said, I'm going to call somebody and have them come get you. And I was like, all right. So about 20 minutes after that phone call, all kinds of fucking Orleans County Sheriff's, Monroe County Sheriff's, the fucking two detectives and a city cop for whatever reason pulled down my mother's driveway. It's, a, it's about 40 minutes from where the crime happened. They found my wallet in the back which fell out with my ID and my address and somebody said that I was the fucking suspect. So they showed up. They asked my mom, where is he? And she said, I don't know where he is. And they said, well, at this point, we're not sure if he's the victim or the suspect. And she goes, you tell me you just you just drove all the way out here and you don't even know where he is and he could be the victim. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And she goes, you better go find my fucking son. I don't care what you do when you find him. You better go find him. So they left. They she said, he's not fucking here, and you need to go find him. He's fucking 16 years old. Oop, I hit the mic, sorry. He's 16 years old. You can go find him. So by then, she already talks with the guy who's coming to get me. He pulls up, and this dude, like, got all these issues, right? Like, back walks with a cane. He's all fucked up. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm watching him out the second floor window of this apartment complex. He pulls up. 
hops out, pops the trunk. I get my shit, fucking start walking out. He's standing out by the by the car. I come out. He's got his hands behind his back. He's got the forty four fucking bulldog behind his back. And he's like, "Autumn clothes, take them off right now." He's like, "I got to change of clothes for you in the bag in the trunk." So I pulled out the fucking bag. I put on a fucking white t-shirt and like fucking gray sweatpants. And he's like, "The shoes, everything." And I'm like, "I only got one shoe." <laughs> he's like, "Put it all in the bag." Everything in the bag. And I'm like, all right. He's like, if there's anything in your pockets, take it. You're never going to see none of this shit again. And I was like, fuck, all right, yeah. So I get in the car, puts the seat back. He's like, let's get the fuck out of here. So we go back to the city right off of Saratoga. And I go to his house. And he's like, go take a shower. He's like, fucking clean yourself all as best you can. And then I clean myself all up. And he's like... He's like, you got fucking boot prints, kick prints all over you. I'm like, I know. Oh, like, I feel like I got hit by a fucking train. Um, So he's like, get some sleep. We'll just, we'll figure this out. So what I guess happened at that point was they were gonna, they were gonna put me on the run. Like the, the, the dude I was with, we were gonna fucking roll out the next day to his people in Arizona. And we were gonna fucking roll out there. And this is an older dude. He's probably like 65 now at this point. And uh, I don't know. Somebody talked to my mother or whatever. They called the lawyer. And uh, they were like, nah, don't fucking run. It'll just make it worse. So they uh, they gave me a phone number to call. So I called these detectives. And they were like, yeah, we just want to ask you some questions. You know, where are you going to be at? And I was like, I'm going to the hospital. I'm fucked up. I'm hurt. They're like, where are you? We'll come to you. I'm like, nah, I'll be there. And I hung up the phone. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'll be there. So I went to the hospital. And AJ and Jake's older brother was at the hospital waiting for me, um, Matt, before I even got there, before anybody got there. He was at the hospital waiting for me. And that meant a fucking lot to me to this day. So I went in the hospital and... um got checked in and of course the two detectives come and they fucking start questioning me and shit and my and they're like they're like trying to finesse my mom and fucking asking me all this shit and fucking and I'm like lying to them telling them I got jumped for no reason and fucking I was swinging a branch that was on fire to get people away from me and I was like I just oh, if I lie to them enough maybe they'll just let me go so so they're there and I'm getting all these tests, MRIs and all this shit and um they found out that I had this massively bad untreated sinus infection, which is weird. Um so I uh after hours at the hospital the detectives are leaving and coming, leaving and coming. They give me the discharge and they're like, All right, here we go. And I'm like, Yeah. He goes, Yep. You know what it is. He goes, now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. You know, I want you're under arrest. Da 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 da. Write me my Miranda rights and shit. I'm like, okay. And he goes, uh, he goes. I said, well, I said, I said, what's the easy way? He goes, I cuff you in front. He's like, we we all walk out of here like gentlemen. Don't make a big deal about it. And I, I said what's the hard way he said well I'll, I'll break your arm and we'll stay here for a little while longer till you get that taken care of and then we'll go to jail and I was like hmm I was like we'll go with the easy way so I left from there and then uh that's when they took me to go get that fucking sub and wrote it all down and then took me to the substation uh, the the uh, detective Monroe County and uh, major crimes unit substation where they fucking had me in this little ass fucking dark ass cell cuffed to a fucking eye hook for hours and hours woke the judge up the judge didn't look like he was impressed $25,000 bail um yeah so then I went to jail and all that shit and got bailed out um the next day, my aunt maxed all of her fucking credit cards to get me out. And, uh, I got out and, uh, 
it was a, about a year until I was sentenced. Five years probation, restitution, rehab. They agreed to the uh, the uh, plaintiff or whatever the complaint, whatever the fuck it called the complainant or whatever. He agreed that that sentence was okay after like four different tries to all these different sentences. You know, it was like five to fifteen, fifteen to forty-five, uh, ten years, five years, and, and my lawyer just kept saying, "Nah, no, no." He can't go to prison. Look at him. He can't go to prison. <laughs> so then he came up with five years probation, restitution, rehab um, on the grounds that they were going to sue me that the, the 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 guy who got hurt the worst, he ended up, he got cut from his fucking ear to his chin. Oh, I, I, and I totally missed the whole part because we ain't even there yet. Anyway, um, the guy... Uh, he got he got cut from his ear to his chin. I can't even remember how many hundred stitches, hundred and fifty, hundred and thirty, something like that. I don't. It was a lot from his ear all the way down and like hooked. Um, he he. They said he was sticking his tongue through his cheek, and uh, and he wanted to sue me. And the other ones didn't have health insurance. I think it was so they were gonna sue me for that. But see, where the the guy who got it the worst fucked up. Cause he should have, he should have went and got the got the medical bill or whatever, and not whatever it was. I had to pay for their the other two guys. I ended up cutting three people. Um, I had to pay their medical bills, but he denied something or other because he was looking at a payday. So, I, their fucking restitution their medical bills was in the restitution and his was not so he ended up as soon as I was sentenced when the guilty plea was in because I pled guilty to uh two I, I was charged with uh two first degree assault and one second degree assault excuse me and I pled guilty to two first degree assault and um and with the guilty plea then they could go with the um with the civil suit and he sued me for 175,000 I think or 185,000 I got the paperwork somewhere the 108 I think 185,000 it's a weird number and uh that's when the lawyer told me he's like the a different lawyer a, a civil lawyer he said give you the best piece of 75 dollar advice you'll ever get he's like don't go <laughs> we can I can I can take this whole thing through with the trial and everything he goes and you pled guilty you are going to lose. He said, so just don't show up and just take take the L. <laughs> he didn't say take the L. He was mad old, but he was like this. He kept licking his fingers. It was weird. He like had this weird tick where he like lick his fingers and his thumbs and shit. But he was a cool guy, though. But he licked the fuck out of his fingers or for whatever. Maybe he had some good chicken wings right before then. I don't know. But he was cool. He's probably dead now. He was old as fuck. If he's not dead, he's a fucking real old. He definitely ain't practicing law no more. Um, so he sued me, and I didn't go, and I lost, and I had a judgment against me, and I never paid anything for it. I never paid nothing. I never paid a dime. And I, I bought when I bought the fucking Challenger, they were like, Psh, that shit don't matter. Sold me a fucking brand new Challenger. <laughs> they sold me a 2010 Challenger in December oh nine. With a fucking judgment for a hundred fucking plus thousand dollars. But, uh, so the other two guys, so the guy that was pulling me up, so here's a crazy thing where the way things work out is fucking weird. The guy who was pulling me and punching me in the face, you remember I said that somebody was reaching around him, grabbing him? Well, there was a guy that was at, at the rap portion who was like, yo, that was the craziest shit. He was like a bigger dude. And, and he was like, he was a cool ass dude. And I, uh, he was trying to get this dude off of me. And when I cut the dude, it cut down the side of his face, down, and then it stopped at his right at his jugular vein and then picked up down the rest of his neck and I and then it, so I had to put it all together and the other guy the cool man that was trying to help me got cut down 
I don't know how many fingers, a bunch of fingers. So what it was is he was pulling this dude off of me by the neck. And I cut down the guy's face and down across his fingers. And if he wasn't pulling that dude off, I would have fucking cut that dude's jug over. This is the fucking, the, the DA was saying this at my sentencing. That, but he didn't say these words exactly, but w- when you put it all together, this is what he was saying, that, that uh, if, 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 su- or if victim number three wasn't involved, this would be an entirely different case right now. Victim number two would have been dead before the ambulance could find out how to get back there. And I was like, oh shit, this is, doesn't sound good. But I had already agreed to the deal, so I knew what I was getting, but it was fucking... It was weird to hear this dude shitting all over me like that. So he fucking, if it was like it was like the hand of God was pulling that kid off of me, and that dude got cut on his fingers, and he is the only fucking one I feel sorry about. He's the only one that, and and you know what? I I I'm sorry. If you're out there, if you ever hear this, I'm fucking sorry that I did that to you. Um, but also I I appreciate you doing that for me and not even knowing that you were kind of saving my life in more ways than one. I I appreciate what you did and I hope your life has been all right because I don't even know. (sighs) So that's the story. I completed my five years of probation, felony intense supervision probation, where they, I was fucking learned how to work the system. Maybe we'll have a whole discussion about working the probation system, and I'll teach you some things <laughs> that I learned in this system. But uh, I never paid anything on that, and the guy died. So I never paid that. But uh, I don't know. I I wish I wish that never happened. I wish it never happened, but I don't know, man. And then, then it kind of always it goes back to like you don't ever fucking know, you know, you don't ever know what the next fucking dude is gonna do. So always keep that kind of shit in mind. And I think about that, you know, how easy that was, how quick that happened. I think about that during all kinds of fucking little stupid things that have happened to me since then. But it did teach me a fucking lesson because I have never been to jail again. Almost. But, and that was my, uh, that was my, uh, exit to violence. I, um, I never hurt anyone after that either. Um, my days of fighting and shit were done but I just ended up being a fucking drug addict and fucked up my whole life after that until now I'm finally reeling it back in the last 10 years or so so that's all I got 43 minutes longest one love you guys man thank you everyone who got that fucking matte black zippo appreciate that shout out to uh, machine studio as always some guys are always fucking killing it um Shout out to everybody, man. You guys are fucking... You guys are awesome. Thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Pep, I fuck with you. Dick, I fuck with you. All you guys, I fuck with you, man. Love you guys. Be good out there in them streets. <laughs>